Uganda in Africa, or should I say the world over, is one of the countries with the biggest cabinet and the biggest number of members of parliament. Um, yet we see so little service delivery from these people, and yet the number keeps increasing. The funds that should go towards, say, improving health care or going into development, you know, improving development in different regions goes into the ever-increasing salaries and allowances of the cabinet and the members of parliament, yet the average Ugandan's life stays the same. I, and I'm sure like most Ugandans, want improved service delivery more than a big number of cabinet or ever-increasing members of parliament. What is your nature of government going to be like? How different is your government going to be? I think the government of Uganda needs to go for a weight loss program. <laughs> <laughs> The, 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 we need to trim the size of government. In the Democratic Party, we are concerned about the number of districts being created, of which each district must have a woman member of parliament. We are proposing that women should be represented through proportional representation. We believe that we can have a dialogue with the women of Uganda so that we agree on a specific number of women whose seats must be guaranteed in parliament. Before elections, every party will then list the best women. Actually, I don't have a very high opinion of most of the women in parliament, and I'm not afraid to say so anyway. They can hang me if they want. But I think we would get better women if every party was supposed to list, to have a list of the best women because some of the women who are the best in Uganda don't want to go through the things that the other women have to go through to go to parliament. So they just stay away. So through that, we will cut the size of parliament. I also believe that the army no longer needs to sit in parliament. They have become part of the NRM. They are not contributing to real national debate. All they are doing is just to defend the NRM. I also believe that we should do what in other countries is called redistricting. We need to redraw the boundaries of constituencies so that we, we have fewer members of parliament. I also think the parliament should not decide its own pay. This debate... <laughs>